Hello and warm welcome to my YouTube channel. So today friends, I am back with another video and this video is all about class 7th English. So let's begin our today's topic. So before wasting our further time students, let's discuss what are we going to study today. So the topic of our today's is there starts the lesson. Are you able to understand what is the word written over here? Definitely no. So students, English is all about grammar, literature, rhymes, scheme, nouns, words, adjectives and much more. So come let's start our today's topic. So before we proceed further students, I have made this video specifically for you all to understand the thing about a bicycle in a good repair. Now, before we proceed with our today's topic, let's see what does this mean. Now, if you wish to go on a long bicycle ride, the bicycle should be in a good condition. If possible, an expert mechanic should overhaul it. But what happens if the machine has a will of its own and the mechanic knows next to nothing. So now the author is trying to tell us. Now whenever you are going on a long drive in a bicycle. It's beautiful weather out there. You know uh, sunny weather. And then you are having a little, little winter chills. But you, you decide to ditch the car in two wheeler. And instead you decide to go on a trip in a you know bicycle. And it's in a good condition. And the moment when you start your trip. When you reach there halfway and your bicycle doesn't want to go further, like it is having its own will. Now, then it was perfectly fine. But when you are pursuing our journey, it started behaving in somewhat different and absurd manner. Now, students, mechanic also doesn't know what is the next thing to do. Now, whenever we are landing in such situation, what should we do? Should we pray to God? Or should we do and find out some stuff that was wrong with the bicycle? So this is the entire thing that poet is trying to tell us. So before wasting our further time, let's come and discuss. Now, a bicycle in good repair. The, the prose is starting with a man. Now, a man I knew proposed one evening we should go for a long bicycle ride together on the following day. And I agreed. Now, the author is saying that one man in the evening told me that, okay, the next mo the next day or the next following day, we should go on a long bicycle ride. And immediately, without thinking any further, poet agreed. I got up early. For me, I made an effort and I was pleased with myself. Now, why was the author pleased with himself? Because he got up early. This shows that he is making efforts for himself. Yes or no students? Now, he came half an hour late. Whereas author woke up early, but his friend came half an hour late. I was waiting for him in the garden. It was a lovely day. He said, that's good looking machine of yours. How does it run? Now, he came very late and he was talking about that it is a very good looking machine. It's looking very pretty. But how does it run? How does it work? Oh, most like most of them, he said. Jaise baaki cheese work karti hai, similarly the other things work. So this thing also works in that same fashion and manner. Poet immediately replied in a polite manner. Easily enough in the morning, goes a little stiffly after lunch. Now he caught hold of it in the front wheel and fork and shook it violently. I said, don't do that, don't do that, you will hurt it. Now, he was so much possessive about bicycle students that he was saying, please don't do it or else you will hurt it. <clears throat> now, this type of personality, we often come across people who are very passionate and loving about their own personal items, be it car, be it a royal bicycle, be it a very expensive two-wheeler or four-wheeler. This shows us the way they are so much passionate about their own things. And then he said, don't do that. It will hurt it. So rather than thinking for his friend, he was thinking more for his machine that is referred to as bicycle. Yes? Now, I do not see why he should shake it. It had not done anything to him. Besides, if it wanted shaking, it was the proper person to shake it. I felt as much I should 
had he started whacking my dog now when he scolded the other person not scolded rather when he said inform don't do it then he he was thinking aisa maine kiya hi kya hai what have i done i haven't done nothing but he was whacking my dog now whacking my dog means teasing yes teasing so he was teasing his dog then we can also say beating and unnecessarily irritating yes so he was also beating his dog now before we proceed further like now acceleration and earthquake is also shown over here in this image this observe this image which is there and we shall study it further now what would happen if wheels were not invented a very simple question think for a few seconds pause this video for a couple of seconds and think that what would happen if wheels were not invented how would we go because wheels are important for travel so without wheels can we able to travel the simple answer is no yes we can travel short distances by feet but majority we need wheels for traveling yes or no even in car wheels are required even in two wheelers bikes scooters wheels are required and even in bicycle that is rode manually wheels are required so without wheels we cannot travel so now think how would travel possible like if wheels are not invented so is it make the human transportation communication traveling easy or difficult definitely it's a difficult process yes students if you have any doubt you may please comment down in the chat box and i will try almost to reply to almost all your queries so keeping this stigma in mind now think and answer both the author and the friend had decided to go for dash they decided to go for hunting a long drive a long bicycle ride or a bus journey yes so the correct answer is a long bicycle ride why because there is no mention of bus there is no mention of hunting and there is no mention of car drive fine now the friend started playing with the back wheel the front wheel the handle or the seat cover yes so he started playing with the back wheel and the author was trying to think that okay if he's playing so much with my bike by back wheel of my bicycle so it might hurt my bicycle now he was personifying his bicycle that bicycles do have feelings yes so we can also see elements of personification over here why because bicycle ko hurt hoga that means does bicycle have emotions and feelings no but author was trying to show us that how much possessive he was for his bicycle fine now before we proceed further there are some you know words which i have mentioned in this slide specifically for you you need to tell me its meaning and you need to make different contrasting sentences of these words and this will always enhance your critical awareness now word is bicycle now meaning is a cycle which is having a wheel yes a cycle which is having wheels now if we want to create sentences with it my father gifted me a new brand new bicycle which was blue in color on my 17th birthday yes my mom taught me how to ride bicycle when i was in 6th grade and like um my brother fell from bicycle when he was learning how to ride it so these are three different sentences which we made word with bicycle and bicycle was always coming in different paraphrases now stiffly stiff now something is very stiff in winters our joints become very stiff and then they start to pain now stiff means it becomes hard now um what can we make sentences with stiff just think of sentences my dog likes to chew a very stiff bone yes whenever there is a winter season i can't wake up early because my joints and bones become stiff yes okay what else 
the carpenter was stiffly cutting the woods from his axe yes and shaking now shaking means shaking hands i am shaking hand so hand to hand contact after i received the gold medal in my school my principal was shaking hands with me such a different and unique one yes i received scholarship for the best student of the year and my dean was shaking hands with me yes and what else yes the my dog was trying to shake his, shake his hand his paw with me when i was scolding him so see we can make so many different sentences from this word now whacking whacking we saw beating no so my dog was behaving very absurdly so i started whacking him my mother is always whacking me for not completing the homework my father is always whacking me when i come late after playing from the ground yes so i hope the meaning and word is clear to all of you students so let's proceed further yes continued now he said this front wheel wobbles and i said it doesn't if you don't wobble it it didn't wobble as a matter of fact nothing worth calling a wobble now what is happening the author's friend is referred to as he now he is author's friend now he is saying yaar yes, listen listen the first wheel is wobbling now wobbling means shaking it or you know it is just going to and fro you must have seen that if there is uh, you know any you know loose nuts so they how they wobble kabhi kisi ka nut dheela hota to wo kaise hilte hain zor zor se and you feel that urge and intention that now immediately you are going to fall down so that is known as wobbling and then author is saying it doesn't if you don't wobble it nahi 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 ये ऐसा हिलता मिलता नहीं है जब तक आप इसको हिलाओगे नहीं जब तक आप इसको छेड़ोगे नहीं इट डिडेंट वॉबल वो तो वॉबल ही नहीं करता था एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट नथिंग वर्थ कॉलिंग अ वॉबल वो तो कभी किया ही नहीं नाउ इफ यू आर इंटेंशनली प्लेइंग विथ इट यू नो पॉइंटिंग इट एंड इरिटेटिंग इट देन डेफिनेटली इट विल वॉबल इससे पहले तो कभी वॉबल नहीं किया था दिस वॉज अ थिंकिंग ऑफ दी ऑथर देन ही सेड दिस इज डेंजरस Have you got a hammer? I thought to have been firm, but I thought that perhaps he didn't—he really did know something about the business. Now, hammer we see, hammer is a sort of an equipment like this, yes. And then we have such a thing like this, like this, and like this. So this is a hammer. Now. hammer is used to beat the nails we hammer is used to beat the nails and keep them tight in their place so now this time author was getting very irritated but he decided to stay firm calm quiet but i thought perhaps he didn't really know about the business he doesn't even anything knows about bicycle repairs and hammers i don't know why he is he asking i went to the tool shed to see what i could find but then immediately the poet the author he went to the shed to the tool shed to find out what he can find it when i came back he was sitting on the ground with the front wheel between his legs now see the moment when author went to the tool shed and came back with some of the instruments and tool which can help his friend he what he saw and he was shocked to see that his friend was already sitting on the ground with a wheel between his legs now matlab isne us iska ye matlab hota hai bina hammer ke bina koi tool ke author ke friend ne already wheel nikal hi liya tha he was playing with it twiddling it around in between his fingers and the remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him now what he was doing he was not working on it rather he was try to play when a wheel aisa hota hai na circle now if you twiddle with it, your fingers like this like this 
नाउ वो गोल 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 चक्का जो है वो पहिया घूमेगा इट विल टर्न राउंड एंड राउंड एंड जो बाकी मशीन का ऑल दो स्पेयर पार्ट स्पोक्स एंड ऑल दो सिटर नट बोल्स दे व दे आर नोन टू एस रेमेंट and the remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him now gravel path means a path suppose ye sadak hai and there are small small stones okay and these small stones that are very tiny they are known as gravel i hope the things are clear to all of you now before we proceed further this front wheel wobbles what does wobble means does it makes any sort of bubbles unsteadily moving from side to side is it broken spins around so we studied wobbling means shaking and shaking is also known as unsteadily moving so b is the correct answer fine okay now synonym of the word twiddling now twiddling means he was trying to play yes so twiddling correct answer uh, correct synonym is playing i hope students a concept of the bicycle how his friend was reacting and how otho was staying firm is clear to all of you so let's proceed further okay now there's a pronunciation drill which i have made in order to make you all pronounce the words as they are now i'll be pronouncing those words and you need to mark my phonetics and mark my accent stiffly now stiffly is having two words stiff and lee so stiff lee wobble many students i have observed that they say wobble 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 no now wobble is also divided into two syllables so they can be pronounced as wobble bal wob hal u h l is phonetic for hal hal wobble okay now whacking now what is whacking pronounced as many students try to pronounce is at whacking waking waking but no the correct pronunciation is wake ing wake ing it's not wack you are not using dub h before w and in between a it's wacking now twitch ling not twiddling is again having two syllables so how will are we going to pronounce it students twitch ling twitch ling twitch ling okay now remnant rem nant is again having divided into two words so rem nant 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 re nant nant so n a n t can be pronounced as n u h n t so re nant and re nant now singing rhymes so we have all observed that how author was using contrasting words to make uh, to try to make uh, you know syllables and rhyming scheme so you need to think which words and which letter can be combined together that can make a very beautiful rhyming poem okay students so you need to write that in your mind or in in your copy and then you need to just paste that in the chat box for example uh i am trying i was having fun under the sun while eating a bun and saw my brother run see fun sun bun run so we can sing this poem as well and it is also having rhyming verse such as i was having bun sitting under this i was having fun sitting under the bun sun eating a bun and seeing my brother run and it all was fun yes now let's move and proceed further now again author he is saying to us and he is referring to his friend as he so now he is author's friend he said it looks to me as if bearings were all wrong i said 
don't you trouble about it any more you will make yourself tired let us put it back and get off now author to mupe nahi bol sakta tha usko ki mat karo mat karo mere cycle ko hurt ho jayega now author was trying a very strategic he was applying a very strategic idea now what he was saying so what kind of strategy was the author's friend applying he was saying that don't do this you will make yourself very very tired now he actually he was getting nervous and irritated but he could not say anything yes students so this was the actual reason for it now bearings means all those ball bearings so see the moment author's friend ke went inside the shed and saw he is okay so the pehle se he has removed the wheel and he was his both hands were there and he was like playing like this like this with the wheel where author came with all the tools in his hand from the tool shed now he said we may as well see what is matter with it and now it is out abhi chalo hum dekhte hain ki uske sath asli mein problem kya hai and abhi to jab humne isko bahar nikal hi diya hai so let's try and see how can we sort out the situation and the problem he talked as though it had dropped out by an accident now author is trying to say the, his friend was talking in such a manner that ap <laughs> that apne aap nikal gaya hai wo isne to kuch kiya hi nahi hai but jabki isne apne haathon se nikala see this is having such a humorous tone as well yes catch catch him he shouted catch him we mustn't lose in any of them he was quite excited about them now kiske bare mein catch kar raha hai all the nuts and bolts we groveled around for half an hour and found 16 he said he hoped we had got them all because if not it would make a serious difference to the machine i put them for safety in my hat it was not a sensible thing to do i admitted now author was getting really very very irritated students now yes so now author was very much irritated because whatever his friends was doing was in intentionally or intentionally it was irritating the author so now when he went to the tin shed to the tool shed to bring out those nuts and balls meanwhile his, his friend already took out that cycle wheel and he was twirling and twiddling in his hand now seeing this author got irritated but he used to calm his position and he was very firm in it now what what he was doing he was now before like his author could stop him he did and screwed all the something somewhere like nuts were somewhere else little balls were somewhere else screws were somewhere else and they were all rolling all over the path some dozens of little balls matlab it was something around 15 16 balls that were rolling on the path now he himself is trying to create such issues and problems and he was insisting author that please catch 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 each and every one of them we should not lose any of these things and he was quite excited about them yes so now this is showing that how his friend was irritating the author now after he saw okay okay this is my bicycle and its wheel and i cannot manage to lose such things so they what did they do they crawled on the ground like this like this and that is the meaning of grovel for half an hour and found 16 of them he said he hoped we got them all now he himself started all these things and now he was hoping that please sab kuch mil jaye if any of the screw is lost or any of the balls is missing then it will make a very serious difference to the machine because the machine may not even work properly it will have problems yes so what did the author try to do he put them for safety in his hat hat में जो होता है नाउ सपोज इफ दिस इज अट नाउ इफ ही टर्न इट अपसाइड डाउन सो ही पुट ऑल दो थिंग्स ओवर हेयर हेयर एंड हेयर ओके नाउ ही न्यू ही इज एडमिटिंग दैट दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट थिंग टू डू बट वो तो हेल्पलेस था ही वॉज हेल्पलेस वॉट कुड हैव बीन डन एट द मोमेंट सो दिस वॉज एवरीथिंग अबाउट द ऑथर एंड दिस फ्रेंड एंड अबाउट द सील ऑफ द व्हील ऑफ द बाईसाइकल नाउ before we proceed further dash was lying topsy turvy in the middle of the path 
what is topsy turvy being referred to as is it ball bearing the child the man or thief so students in the previous slide we have studied about 16 things were found and they were lying topsy turvy in the middle of the path is there mention of child no is there mention of man is there mention of thief no so the correct answer is ball bearing and nuts and they were how much in number they were 16 in number now groveled means rolling yes we studied now how they were groveling and crawling rolling or crawling is known the meaning of groveled fine i hope students the concept of this entire story the theme the image is clear to all of you now let's come to the recapitulation point now i have made you all studied and read the passage by myself by having a model re recapitulation and recitation so let's recapitulate did the front wheel really wobble what is your opinion tell me do you think it was wobbling no it did not wobble at all so the first thing is no why because his author's friend was intentionally trying to wobble it by shaking it putting his hands and trying to twirling the bicycle so it did not wobble itself in what condition did the author find the bicycle when he returned from the tool shed so we have discussed that he was saying do you have hammer and author said okay i don't remember but i go to the tin shed tool shed and check and when he came back from the tool shed what did he found in the garden what was his friend doing he had already took out the bicycle wheel yes bicycle wheel ko he has already took out and then he was playing with him twirling with him so they both were sitting on the ground now the man comes late in the morning and starts dash author's bicycle violently so what was he trying to do he was trying to shake it and what is the word for shaking used in the text and paragraph it's wobbling fine now difficult words from the passage you remember wobbling is a difficult word granules gravel twirling all such other difficult words so i hope whatever we have studied and covered in this video of this topic the things are clear to all of you students so let's move further so i have prepared one homework for you and i expect all those who are watching this video especially students of class 7 please complete this homework as it will enable you to think in the clarity it will also remove your doubts and any sort of questions now describe the fight between author's friend and the bicycle now was that fight an actual fight or was it just for verbal fight or was it even a fight things author ko to gussa aa raha tha but kya usne usse ladai jhagda kiya no he didn't find relevant sentences in the text and rewrite them in your own words that what do you think what is the actual fight going on now secondly have you ever own tired try to repair your bicycle share your experience in a paragraph that being a 7 year old student in the 7th grade you must be riding bicycles your parents must have gifted you so have you ever tried to ride a bicycle and repair it when it got punctured or even its wheel is wobbling or have you tried to adjust the seat cover according to your height so you also need to share this in a particular paragraph and whatever we have studied till now what do you understand by the main characters what are their main intentions what do you know about the author what do you know about his friend so you need to write a small gist summary is also known as gist of the chapter and then you need to mention it yes students so this is your homework i hope you all will complete your homework on time and kindly wait for the extension of this lesson second video which i'll be posting it soon on my youtube channel if you have any queries any doubt please reach out on the 
you know youtube by commenting your doubts and queries in the chat box and i'll be more than happy to comment and resolve your answers and queries till then my request is all to be safe be healthy keep on enjoying your holidays but don't remember don't forget always remember don't forget to study because the more you study the more you will learn new things fine so that's all from my side thank you so much take care goodbye keep liking sharing and subscribing my youtube videos for more information bye students